Hi, I'm Steve Clapham. I'm the founder of Behind the Balance Sheet. We train professional investors in forensic accounting techniques. Now we're bringing that skill and that expertise to benefit the private investor. And I'd like to tell you about our brand new course, How to Read a Balance Sheet. It's a fantastic course designed for the novice investor or the experienced investor who doesn't have much knowledge of financial accounting. Let me tell you more. The course covers all the financial statements, obviously not just the balance sheet. And the most important thing is it's a practical guide for non-accountants. Most of these courses, most of the textbooks are designed for accountants who want to prepare accounts. You don't need to know how to prepare accounts. You need to know how to understand them. So the unique thing about this course is we do not mention debits or credits. We talk about the practicalities of understanding the accounts. We teach you how to interpret a set of accounts. And how do we do that? We do it by working through a real life example because we think that's the best way of understanding what is inside a set of accounts. So there are several modules to it. We start off with how to approach the accounts. You might think that's a bit daft. We don't read the accounts from front to back. We have a very specific technique because often what we found, and in my 25 plus years of experience, I found this many, many times, is that there's a problem identified at the back of the accounts. So we go through a set process. We go through the accounts, not from front to back, not from back to front, but we dot around and we show you how to do that. We then go through the balance sheet and we go through every line in this company's balance sheet and we show you exactly the things that you need to look at and to watch for. That's incredibly important because many, many analysts don't know how to read a balance sheet and it's crucial to understanding a set of accounts. We then go through, obviously, the P&L and the cash flow and we go through the accounting policies. Again, many analysts overlook this but it's extremely important to understand the company's accounting policies in order to understand how it's formulated the accounts. So we explain the things that you need to look for. We then touch on accounting shenanigans because many companies today are engaged in earnings management and you need to know what to look for. Finally, we look at financial ratios, so we explain the definitions of all the ratios. And in the introduction to analysis, we explain how to deploy those ratios in order to better to understand the company accounts. What are the benefits of all this? Why should you do it? Well, at the end of doing our course, you will understand the set of accounts. You'll know what to look for. You'll understand the jargon. It won't be frightening anymore. Some of the jargon is almost impenetrable. You'll feel comfortable about that. You'll feel confident looking at a set of financial statements and you will become competent at analyzing a set of accounts. I hope you really enjoy our course and I look forward to your feedback.